I'm a broken woman. There we go, we're selling the house. I feel like this is gonna be a hefty job today. It's so gross. Can't remember, because it's a number. Baywatch. That's hideous. Did you get with a cowboy over there? No. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday. I'm starting the vlog a little bit later than planned because I couldn't find a memory card. I couldn't find a sports top. Couldn't find my trainers. Went to the house to get my memory card. Couldn't find my memory card. Found my memory card in my bag. Just been a little bit of chaos this morning, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if you can hear the weather, but it's not, it's not beautiful weather today. It's, it's British hell is what it is. The rain actually woke me up a whole hour before my alarm was due to go off, so I'm not massively happy about that. But I'm just waiting up, waiting outside PT. I put my trainers on actually. Today, ah, oh God. So I went back to PT on Tuesday. Do you want my trainers? Cute, aren't they? 45 pound in the cell they were. I went back to PT on Tuesday and then did four hours of dancing. Oh, I can't, I can't put my shoe on. I'm actually having a fucking nightmare. It's just a bit a lot at the moment, if I'm being honest. Went back to PT on Tuesday, then did four hours of dancing on Tuesday night. And let me tell you, my body feels like it's been put through a meat grinder. It is in so much pain. <coughs> so we're back here again. Oh my God. Oh, we got to go, come on. Who's coming? Who's coming? <laughs> Hi everyone, I thought I'd actually start the vlog because this morning was utter chaos. Um, basically just everything just kept going wrong and it was pissing it down with rain which makes the wrong things even more wrong, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I actually ended up having a really good PT session. My body is in absolute bits this week though. You can definitely tell I haven't trained for a long time. But I think where I've been eating so well, me and Kelly were talking about this morning, I, it doesn't feel that bad, like it feels okay in terms of capability. The actual pain of my body is still, like it's still adapting, but I do feel capable. I don't feel like I've lost all strength basically. And then I popped to Waitrose to get some stuff I'm really craving, a smoothie at the moment. So I got smoothie ingredients. And then I also popped to M&S to get some coffee, ground coffee that I love. I got some frozen spinach. Annoyingly, they only had the organic stuff left and not the normal stuff, which is fine. Pears, some almond milk, fresh mango, avocado, kiwi. And then yesterday, oh, I saw these. Scrambled fudge put it on my Instagram and everyone was like losing their shit. So I was like, oh, I should, probably should have got some. So I'm gonna have these on Easter weekend, I think. Easter's just really not happening for me this year, which I'm very gutted about because it's my favorite holiday. But yeah, it's, um, David's away. So I've got the boys, but like the house that I have the boys at is no longer my house. It doesn't feel like my home. So it's just a weird situation because, well, I don't know, it just feels weird. Um, what else did I get? Where's my coffee? Oh yeah, this is the coffee I picked up from m &S. To be fair, I should have just got it from Marks and Spencers, but then I forgot, I should have just got it from Waitrose where I was, and then I forgot and I was like, I'm gonna go and get this and not go and get a Starbucks instead. Because I bought my cafeteria around today to have that. 
And I bought Bill's a birthday card. Queen of today. It is 10 o'clock and basically today the plan was Shelbs was going to be coming up to help me stage the house ready for our photographs to be taken tomorrow. Um, but she can't come up anymore so I'm doing it on my own which is fine. So basically what I'm going to be doing is going around the house. Obviously this week, this week I've already sorted out quite a lot. Oh, I need the toilet, I could just go now. I've sorted my room upstairs and my studio and what I've done is I've unpacked everything into this house because I have nowhere else to put it. But also it has to be packed away because we're going to have viewings. Have I even told you that we're putting the house on the market? I don't think I have. All right, there we go. We're selling the house. Sorry, I'm going to backtrack. So tomorrow we've decided to sell the house. We are having photographs taken tomorrow for it to go up on the market and that's what I'm doing today is sorting so basically I've unloaded all of my stuff packed it away into this house when I come back from America I will then pack it into boxes for moving into the new house but up until America I have nowhere to store everything um, and I also need to be able to pack for America knowing where all my clothes are so I've basically kept everything here which is fine. So yeah, so I've done those two rooms, which has helped massively. It's actually also, it's massively helped my mental headspace doing all of that clearing and sorting. It's helped me a lot because I was feeling so like stressed about leaving Portland and yeah, I don't know. So that's, that's a good thing. So the plan today is to sort of go around all of the rooms and just make it look photograph ready so that the photos are nice and then it entices people to come and look at the house and hopefully come and buy the house so if you are looking for a house you can buy it <laughs> very excited for my smoothie today i've been craving one for ages and kelly said that it should be 30 percent fruit 70 percent veg also where it was raining so much this morning david hasn't managed to take the dogs out for a walk and Vinny is depressed until he's been out. So I'm thinking what I might do is take them now, and just get it out of the way. I don't know if Fergie's ever been on the vlogs, but this is um, David's mum and dad's dog. David's looking after him at the moment, so he will also be coming. In it, Fergs. Oh, all right, sweetheart. Do you want to go? Right, let's just show everyone, show everyone your gorgeous face first. So he's like, don't take me. Hey, Mr. Crazy. Mr. Crazy. Would you like to go? Do you want to go for walkies? Do you want to go for walkies? Yay! Yes! Come on then. Good boy. Are we ready? Three boys? Well, that was traumatic, wasn't it? Look at the state of this. Three boys. Mummy walked three boys on her own and your silly little brother was pulling and pushing, wasn't he? He was pulling. We've got to wipe this floor now. Thank you, you're going to move. Ah. See what I mean? See why that was hard work for me? A solo woman, fresh after arm day, and that's what you do. Mr Naughty. Mr Naughty Pig. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you, don't you? I thought I'll get it done out of the way because otherwise he'll just whine all day. You do a big whines. Big Mr. Whining. You drink puddle water. You run through all the muddy puddles. You're nauseous. You do pulling. And then you come back and do moaning. God knows where you get it from. But I thought I'll walk them and get it out of the way and then I've got the whole day here to get sorted. But I've come back, I'm bloody exhausted. I feel like this is going to be a hefty job today. No day but today. The sooner we start, the easier it will be. Aww. Both piggies on mummy's floor. Mr. Perfect and then Mr. Pain in the ass. But you are a perfect boy, aren't you? Have you told everyone that you're illegally blonde as well?
Let's make a smoothie together. I actually bought myself a new ninja because um, we use our one here all the time and I thought, well, I'm going to need one in the new house anyway. But bloody hell, it's a lot more powerful than the one I'm used to. I haven't made a smoothie for a long time, so we're just going to wing it. Bit of mango for the sweetness. Like that much. One more piece in my mouth. Ah, oh, two more pieces in my mouth. Half an avocado, maybe? Quarter of an avocado will do, I think. Oh, fuck it. Done bleeding, done it now. That much avocado. I've done like. Do you think I should just put that in? It was too late now because this is in the future. I got these golden kiwi golds. What are they called? Gold kiwis. Also, did you know with these kiwis, it's the skin's really good for you? Quarter of a pear. Like this much pear I've put in. Some spinach and almond milk, in it. Let's do spinach, ice and almond milk. Spinach is good for you. Whoa, look at these. Like a frozen ball. Okay, I reckon actually just one, one thing of spinach will be enough. Right, four ice cubes, let's do. Hey, look at that. And almond milk. How much milk? Splash more. Right, God, why am I so excited? Okay, let's try this. I mean, it looks delicious. It's a bit, it's, I don't know if it's a bit thick. That is fucking disgusting. You know what it tastes like? Spinach. How can that one piece of spinach ruin the whole thing? Guys, today is just not, it's not today -ing. I'm gonna have to drink this now. It's gonna be good for me, innit? Even though it tastes like actual grass. It's so gross. Oh God. Tell me all night long. You are a silly head, and I loved you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scram you. Mommy's boys, mommy's boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> Whoa. Remember last week you didn't do poor and you showed me up? Yeah, you showed me up because you know exactly how to do poor. But you thought, no, she's recording. Don't wiggle that tail in front of me. literally just finished this room and I've just hoovered it. Are you helping or are you just sunbathing? Oh, okay. Not helping? Ignoring me? Sure. Room number one done. This is the tidiest it will ever be. Done the bathroom. Literally just removed everything and made the sink and that look a bit nicer. Folded a towel. 
That's going to go up in the loft later. That's going to be removed. I've done the bedroom. Annoyingly, I don't have any cushions or anything, which would have would have made it look a lot nicer. But cleared all of that up, and then also done the same in the bathroom. So kept it all really like minimalistic and just bare, pretty much. I am looking at this thinking it could do with something because it looks a little bit flat. Does it really matter? Um, maybe not. I need to sort those pictures out as well, don't I? Okay, I'm... Oh, hello! <laughs> um, I'm done. I have finished. I feel like a bit weird. I don't know. It's just weird how much this place doesn't feel like home anymore but it's been my home for so long. Done the kitchen, ignore those bits, they're gonna be taken once I've fed the dogs. And that's also gonna be removed. I've just put that there to make that look nice. And then my downstairs bathroom, just tidied everything up. And then my studio. Obviously this isn't like the last time you're gonna see the house, but I have like really, I've made everything really, Jesus. I've just made everything look very like minimalistic. Stripped back all the clutter and stuff. And then as soon as the photos are taken, it can be a bit more lived in for viewings and things like that. I'm also still gonna be working from here in the studio and like we're just in the house up until move into the new one basically. <clears throat> I'm actually shattered. However, it's four o'clock and i have wanted to pop into primark before i go to america just for a few bits and i'm thinking it closes at 8 p.m like shall i just go now because it's easter holidays as of tomorrow we know i i hate kids i hate teenagers running around busy periods school holidays they're all on crack aren't they because they're so buzzing that they've got no school so like if i leave it we fly two weeks yesterday. Finny, no barking. Yeah, so two weeks today, I will be in America. And I'm just thinking like, if I go now, then that will avoid me having to do any IRL shopping before, because I won't need to go when the kids are out. I'm also knackered, so I'm like, is that silly? But then at least I'll sleep well tonight, won't I? Not looking stunning, not looking stunning. I've not even brushed my hair today. I've not even had a shower today, so it would be disgusting to go into Bristol looking like this. But then at the same time, who dresses up to go shopping? Because that's just silly. I've just gone to do car chats and I was thinking, yeah, excited for that. It's been a while. And I don't know if you can see, but I have snapped it off. So this contraption, which cost me about £25, is no longer. I also now have the little thing attached to the, see what I mean? Positive vibes, positive vibes. Nothing's going wrong today. I can't get the thing off. So, another part's just broken off. I can't even rest you. This is so cute, but my issue with Primark bikinis is they do not wash well and they always end up shrinking or stretching but I love this sorry but 14 year old me is absolutely crying can't believe these have come back round in fashion maybe they weren't in fashion when I was 14 but I loved them can't decide if this is nice or horrendous but what in the absolute lie is that a large how is that a large Bloody tiny. So, these are, these are a 10. <laughs> I just don't know how to show you. <laughs> Can you get your leg in it? My one leg? Yeah. yeah they are big. Like, they're wide-legged. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean... They're the 10. What size waist were you the other day when Fiona did it? I can't remember because it's a number. 
can't remember numbers. To be fair, now I'm holding them up, maybe like, maybe the 10 would be fine. It's got her 10 on, on, on the bottom, shorts. but what do you think about on top? Hand me my dog, hand me my bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. oh, sorry, Trace is ringing. You do the maths, because I can't count. The Bloody hell. That jacket's £28. Pounds. Fourteen pounds. So that's fourteen. Four pounds. If it makes you feel any better, I spent about sixteen grand playing Mimi. <laughs> I'm really excited to see you in this. I hope it fits. Now I'm going to be stressing. Say hello to everyone. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Are your boobs out? No. Okay, good, because I can't censor that. Hands down, best section in Primark is... <gasps> How fucking cute are they? Is the pyjama section, was what I was saying. They are adorable. There's no matching top. Why am I obsessed with this? Long nighty. Goes to watch a Lizzo concert once, and then look. I'm sorry, but I love it. I know, wait, they've got them in the pyjamas and I'd actually wear... No, I'm sorry, I have to have them. I don't know if they're hideous or not, but... Do these have a drawstring? Yes, oh my god, is it a fake drawstring? Why are they the best and worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life? Bloody hell, how cute is this candle? That's like... I love that. Do I need it? No, and these? Primark home have uh, really stepped things up. I feel like I just need this because it's in my favourite colour in the world. It smells of absolutely nothing, but then I can use it as a little jar when it's burnt out. I don't know if it's horrendous or not though. I think it is, yeah. I mean, fuck carrying these back to the car, but I really like those. I can't stand you up how I'd normally stand you up because obviously I've broken my thing. I hope that's okay, but I just got the most delicious looking naked burrito bowl from Tortilla. It's got chicken, sour cream, rice, and I'm gonna try and... eat it before I'm leaving. Mmm, with hot sauce too. Delicious. So we've got rice, lettuce, chicken, avocado, cheese, hot sauce, veg. Can I put some light on? Mm. Just for the fashion show. You might want that backlight the whole way. I'm probably not going to try on because I'm not looking fresh. But I'll show you my things, yeah? Okay. Let's start with something small but essential. A backcombing brush. I've got about 75 of those downstairs, but there we go. Well, how was I to know that? Next, these cream straight leg jeans that need washing because they've got a mark on them. I got them. These exact ones? Yeah. Have you? Yeah, I bought them in Portugal. Are they nice? Mm. They're stretchy as you well. You just reminded me that I got them. Now, obviously, I forgot I got them. Mate, I'm going to be looking through your wardrobe before America. <laughs> I bought this swimming costume because I'm going to farmhouse tomorrow with bills. Oh, nice. Enough. Baywatch. Yeah. <laughs> You'll love this. Beach bag. Very nice. Picture me in LA with a green juice. <laughs> <laughs> like that. It's lush, isn't it? Very nice. I thought when you pulled it out, it was like a halter neck top or something. Probably would be nice as hell. <laughs> These pajamas, I just oh my god, I couldn't. Because you really need more pajamas, like I've well, just they're just my favourite thing to have, really. Oh, they're lovely. Aren't they so cool? I've not given anybody the prices or the um. What you would call it. Yeah, they're very nice. Aren't they amazing? This is actually for Cole, for her Elle Woods costume. 
how cute is it? Oh, that's perfect. Uh, the shorts and then the this. Isn't that stunning? What a perfect outfit. I know. Did you just find it or did they ask you to go shopping No, I for found it. it. And then this. That's hideous. Excuse me. This is very on trend at the moment. It's very fashionable and I thought I'd pick a different colour. Do you think that's hideous? Yeah, I don't like the colour. Like a lime green. I reckon, I reckon that's very LA. <laughs> when was the last time you went to LA? I don't know, but when have I ever looked very LA? Yeah, you can go through my wardrobe, but not tonight. Why? Should I save that for next week? Yeah. Because you'll have to try things on. Mm. So much for a bloody day off. I feel like Widow Twanky and Sasha Clara's laundrette. Thanks very much. It's very appreciated. I'll bring you a present back from America. Thanks. A cowboy? No. <laughs> Have you met a cowboy? Yeah, because I've been to Nashville. Did you bring one home? Absolutely not. I bought a hat home. Why did, did you get with a cowboy over there? No. No, I did not. Why not? Because I wasn't looking for a cowboy. <laughs> what about, did you sing... Cowboy, take me away. No, I've never heard that song before in my life. Yes, you have. I have not. The chicks. What chicks? The Dixie chicks, but they're called the chicks now. No, no. Oh, I'm going to play it for you right now. I, I'm probably singing it out of tune. Cowboy, take me away. Know this song? Right, well, I told you it was a bit out of tune. <laughs> 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 I'm not very good without a backing track. <laughs> Next week's vlog, we'll um, raid Trace's wardrobe for America outfits. You think I'm joking? Don't fit you anymore anyway, does it? <laughs> I'm joking! Absolutely not true. I'm joking. Isn't it, Coco? What's been the highlight of your day? The highlight of my day? See a nanny. I'd, it was the highlight of my day, without a shadow of a doubt. She is funny, isn't Brightened she? Brightened my day up, she did, today. She's in a fine mood. She sent me a picture of the sausage roll she's made tonight. Aww. And said she'll save me some. So, um, yeah, that was the highlight. We'll, get, we'll go and see Nanny next week on the vlog. That's what we'll do on next week's vlog. We'll go see Nanny Anne. And we'll raid your wardrobe. We need to take those babies around there because she's obsessed. She watched all the videos. I'm just in her videos. Yeah, she's obsessed with the triplets. I need to go and have a shower and wash my hair. I'm glad you said that. Can you cut my hair before America? Put, I need my choppy layers put back in because i got to look like Shania, see? What? You just have to make an appointment. Send me a message and I'll make an appointment. You can make me an appointment. <laughs> Cowboy take! <laughs> I'd, I'd swear to God, you and Chelsea Pierce. Cowboy take me away! Please take her away.